Hi everyone, my name is Frances Fry. I'm a professor at the Harvard Business School. And along with Anne Morris, I'm the co-author of our best-selling book, Unleashed, The Unapologetic Leader's Guide to Empowering Everyone Around You. Anne and I have a quest to democratize education. So hopefully you will find this, uh, this video useful. So if you're interested in how to build more trust tomorrow than you have today, and trust is such a beautiful resource, in the presence of trust, we can go further, faster. So if you're interested in how to build more trust immediately and how to rebuild trust, I think this video will be helpful. So the first thing to understand is that trust has a very stable architecture. For example, you are more likely to trust me if you get the sense that it's the real me talking to you and that I have sound reasoning and that I'm in it for you. The language of trust is that you are more likely to trust me if you experience my authenticity, my logic, and my empathy. So if we think about trust, we often refer to it as the trust triangle. And that's precisely because it has three pillars. If there were four pillars, we would be talking about a trust square. But after working with hundreds of thousands of leaders, every single instance of trust could always be traced back to these three. So we feel confident that it, this will also apply to you. So when we think about authenticity, logic, and empathy, our three pillars of trust, I want to ask you two questions. The first one's quite difficult. And the first one is to bring into your mind's eye a recent time when you were not able to earn as much trust as you intended, perhaps professionally, perhaps personally. But make sure it's a real recent example for you. And with that example in your mind, Ask yourself, what did your skeptic or skeptics, what did they doubt about you? Did they doubt that you were saying what you believed, your authenticity? Did they doubt that your plan wasn't rigorous enough, logic? Or did they doubt that you were really self-centered in the end and not in it for them, empathy? Whichever one of these was in question, we call this your trust wobble. So for me, the most recent time I lost trust, people were sure it was the real me, and they actually believed quite a bit in my plan, but they weren't convinced that I was in it for them. They thought I was too self-distracted. You know what? They were right. Fortunately, the fix was quite straightforward, and when I overcame my empathy wobble, my plan got adopted quickly. So the first thing is, which is your wobble? What's your trust wobble? I'm an empathy wobble. Second question, much easier. Authenticity, logic, and empathy. Which one of these three is easiest for you to access? And, and perhaps to help when you're hungry, when you're tired, when you're stressed, which one of these three can you grab hold of and really rely on? This is your trust anchor. For me, it's logic. I always have access to logic. Honestly, I would like to suspend that access in some social situations, but I have a very hard time doing that. So I am a logic anchor and an empathy wobble. That's in our language of trust. Once we understand both our anchor and our wobble, we're ready to go to the next phase. So as a logic anchor, I should coach people about logic. As an empathy wobble, I need added insight about how to overcome that wobble. Chapter two of Unleashed describes how to overcome every one of these wobbles. But also, we're gonna make the next video for how to systematically overcome each wobble. So look at the book, which you can get the link to down below or wait for the next video. It's been a pleasure. Thanks everybody.